Buongiorno, today we have some pork guanciale. It's a pork chow and it's perfect for a carbonara. Let's go! So good. I know everybody's talking about classic carbonara, but the way that we do it at the restaurant is actually the way it's supposed to be. For this recipe, we're gonna use uh, fresh guanciale. We're gonna use uh, two nice eggs, some nice black pepper. The one that I choose is the telly cherry from India. Parmesan cheese, Parmigiano Reggiano, and some pecorino romano. Then we have uh, some fresh rigatoni, just homemade rigatoni. But if you don't have a made rigatoni, you can buy a De Checo at any supermarket. This will do it. This will make a good carbonara. And today in the recipe, we choose rigatoni because at the restaurant we actually do rigatoni. But you can use spaghetti or any other pasta that you like. Spaghetti is actually really good. Here's our guanciale. We have the skin that we have to remove and we have to remove all this pepper. We're gonna slice it about, look at that, like a, like a one centimeter, and slice it, and take two slices of this. You can do two ways, you can just do like this, but it comes out very small, or you can just go a little like that, and it comes a little longer, okay? All right. With the heat of the pan, we'll uh, melt the fat, and it will produce a, a wonderful, crispy guanciale with, uh, the, the, the idea is that guanciale has to be crispy, but very soft and juicy inside a little bit of plain oil, and that will help uh, the guanciale to bring out the fat. This is how you do the carbonara. You can smell the pepper, the salt, the fat. You're gonna crack the eggs, one, two, and then we're just gonna use the egg yolks. Simple, you can do it like that way, boom. So I'm gonna shake the eggs like that, and we're gonna start putting some nice black pepper, parmigiano reggiano. And then we're gonna put a little bit of pecorino, pecorino romano. And then we're gonna do this thing here. All right, look at that. Look at that little nice cream, you know. One uh, little trick, you just warm up a little bit. Not a lot, but just a little bit. So we're gonna put our rigatoni. This is eggs pasta, so this pasta is gonna cook only for four minutes. Okay, we just put the pasta inside the pan, you know, where the fat from the guanciale was. Pasta now is gonna absorb all the flavor from the fat, the pepper, the saltiness of the guanciale is gonna be great. Once this is ready, we're gonna blend it with the eggs and pecorino and parmigiano, and we're gonna finish our carbonara, okay? I think this is ready. Once this is ready, we're gonna put everything here. We're gonna move this. Finish it off with a pecorino or parmigiano reggiano, whatever you prefer, and black pepper. And the final touch, the crispy bacon that we had before, you remember? And here we go, a wonderful Borti Pasta Carbonara. You see this thing here? This is the real thing. This is the real thing. You don't have to take a plane, go to Rome, eat. Maybe you're gonna have the same, maybe. Here's the carbonara. This is, this is it, this is it. Look, this is amazing. Look at that, look how creamy it is. Look how beautiful. This is amazing. Ah. So good.